Okay, how can you run a Python script in IDLE? That's what I'm gonna to do today, because I'm gonna start practicing. Now I've downloaded it. Okay, I've got a script here. I'm not on IDLE, I'm at W3Schools. So um, I just gotta move something out of the way. Okay. IDLE, how do you find it? Type in here maybe. Right, it's there. Oh, no, but the wrong one. I downloaded this the other day and oop. I'll go to recently added instead. Recently added, it's always, oh, it has come up. Okay, IDL shell 3.8.1. So, <clears throat> how do you run a Python script? I've got a Python script I've copied. Well, first we'll go to file, new file. Now this isn't just another shell here, moving to the side. This is a file for a file. As you can see, it's a slight difference on, on the tabs at the top, okay? That's because you can run from here. You're putting a script in there, like you would on an editor. Okay, so I'm gonna paste that in. So I want to run it from here, not in the shell itself untitled because I'd have to save as so run module save before run source must be saved as I thought okay just finding somewhere to save it and I'm gonna make a new file. It's called brand.py, that's for the file extension. PY is for Python file extension. So I've saved as, is that gonna run automatically? It has done. Okay, so over here, forward, that's the answer. Print this dict, brand, forward. So let's run over there. <clears throat> That's how you run a script in IDLE. You can do that in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna I want to use this first. I think it'd just be less complicated. Less you can do on it, but it's so much clearer. So there you are, IDLE, you can find it down here or on recently added if you've just downloaded it like me and you need to create new file and save as, that's what you do.